Hello everyone. Today we're making a video in a little bit of a different space than normal. We're actually in the area beside our house where we usually come walking. I believe it's Crown Land. There's these beautiful dikes that you can walk all along the farmlands. And this is where I saw this gorgeous rose bush, which right now is filled with these beautiful rose blossoms. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a close up of them so you can take a look. But this is the right stage to be picking rose buds. This is different than the rose hips, which you'll be picking later in the season. Right now we're at the beginning of summer, so I would say around late spring to early summer, around now, is the time to be picking these rose buds, which is great for making tea, or some people use them just for the fragrance of having these dried rose buds. I'm gonna be picking them for tea because the benefits are so good. They are filled with antioxidants. They're perfectly edible if you just wanna eat them for some kind of fragranty taste. You could add it to dishes or salads or um, any kind of desserts maybe that would <laughs> benefit from a rosy taste. But I'm gonna be picking it today for tea specifically and then I'll be taking it inside to dry for some of my future tea mixes. Some more of the benefits include not only is it high in antioxidants but it's also good for ladies as we go through our menstrual cycle. It is also an antidepressant or stress reliever if you want to drink tea for that kind of reason. All in all, just a good kind of herb to include in teas or dishes. So I'll be picking some from this area today. Very selectively, of course. There's tons of bees around. This is some of their food for the moment, so I'm going to be harvesting sparingly. Um, but let me show you the three different stages that the rose bush is going to go through. First it starts with this beautiful rose tip, or rose bud as I like to call it, which will then turn into this beautiful flower. You could also harvest these petals. And then later on it'll be rose hips, which we'll come and get later in the season for other kinds of uses, jams and jellies or dishes. to have a big bush like this so close to the road, so close to our house. I mean, this is a super large area just covered in rose bush with all of these petals. And everywhere I'm clipping, I'm seeing two more buds coming along. So this is a really prolific bush and definitely a good one to harvest from because I won't be taxing this area at all. I will not be making a dent. I do not have enough energy <laughs> for all of this. So this is a really good spot to be harvesting. purpose of cooking the cookie in a particular way. Anyway, I'm just gonna add these onto normal pans with 
uh, parchment paper, which I already have in here from another kind of drying. <laughs> Uh, and I'm just gonna scatter them right on to the pans. Okay, I think I'll be able to fit it all into one pan. Oh, there's a different flower in here. That's funny. Yeah, probably one pan is good. Right, beautiful. And then pop these right into the oven on my lowest temperature for maybe two, three hours. Now, we'll see what it looks like after two or three hours. I'm thinking maybe they'll need a little bit more just because depending on the thickness of some of these uh, buds, they may need a little bit more time. We'll check you out in a few hours. Finding one of the bigger uh, buds and checking if I squeeze it if it is crispy and it's sounding crispy to me so I think these are good to go ahead and jar up. jar is too small so let's grab a bigger jar recommend that you label your jar. I have, I guess this is pretty obvious that it's rose, but I have <laughs> dried other leaves that have not been that obvious, that have just been green and genuinely gotten things confused. So, label your jars. Or shall I say, label your teas. buds come into your house dry them in your oven and put them in a jar ready for any kind of future tea mixes uh, well if that interests you I've got another few tea recipe herb drying videos kicking around and I will link those below as well as some blog posts that I've written about tea mixes or benefits of certain kind of tea herbs put together so if you like that kind of stuff please read more about it at these links below please subscribe and stick around and then you can catch some of our future content Thank you for watching. See ya. Bye.